CorePatch EasyShock electrodes are designed to be connected to the defibrillator unit via a two-pin socket at all times. When needed, take the core patch out of the pouch and then out of the plastic packet. You will have a blue patch for apex and a red patch for the sternum position. Peel off the adhesive backing from the bottom of each pad and place in the relevant areas. To activate the AED mode, simply push the red AED button. By pressing the Analyze button, the device will determine if the rhythm is shockable or not. Start analysis. If it is shockable, Do not touch or move patient. then the Corpals 3 will display this, and you can then press and hold the shock button for one second once the capacitor is charged. Deliver shock. Shock performed. Perform CPR. Do not touch or move patient. If the patient has a non-shockable rhythm, then the Corpals 3 in AED mode will not allow the user to shock the patient and advise to continue with CPR after the analysis. Perform CPR. While in both AED and manual mode, the Corpals 3 device will display the elapsed time, the total number of shocks that have been administered, and the time since the last shock. The screen also shows the energy level and impedance control that ensures the shock electrodes are placed on the patient. It is also displayed whether the device is in sync or async mode. By using the soft keys, the user can turn the metronome to the desired algorithm and adjust the synchronization. One can choose between automatic synchronization, async, or sync. When in manual mode, the screen will display a choice of pre selected energy levels at the bottom of the screen. The user can use the soft keys to select these energy levels, or may use the jog dial for selecting a manually adjusted level. Once the user has selected the correct energy level, press the charge button allowing the machine time to charge. Then press and hold the shock button to administer the shock.